I'm Roy. I'm an electrical engineer. Many people regard me as an inventor. The things I have invented would make a very, very long list. I did the grid structure on whatever battery that you have in your car. The main power supply for the Voyager spacecraft. I hooked up China with the Middle East for uh, oil supply. Many historians credit an invention that I've made with the United States winning the Cold War. I have almost 160 acres, primarily of redwoods. This is my outside workshop. Many of the things here, for example, the cars and a lot of electronic parts are the basis for making other inventions, their ingredients to work with. I lost count of the number of vehicles I have. I'm Marlena and Roy is my boyfriend. I actually met Roy about six years after he purchased his property. I knew he was a hoarder and that was his property and he could do with it what he wished. And this was his place where he could play. I purchased the land in 1984. One reason was to preserve the redwoods. The other reason was to have a place to work on electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles and do energy saving inventions. His land has gotten out of control. There's just too many cars and too many vehicles. Too much junk. My name's Jim. I'm Roy's attorney. The county of Santa Cruz filed a legal action in the Superior Court against him, seeking fines and seeking to get the vehicles removed. They are seeking more in monetary fines than he can afford to pay. So we're trying to reduce the amount of fines. I think if Roy's cooperative with the county and basically cleans up his property, we can get through this legal mess. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Corey Chalmers. I'm an extreme hoarding cleanup specialist. We're here today to help Roy, who's faced with a pretty serious crisis. Roy has the county coming down on him with some huge fines. We have a few problems logistically. Right now, we have severe rain that's supposed to be here for two or three days. Obviously, the weather is not nice. I know it's not going to be easy, but we all got to kind of just button down and make this happen, despite the mud, the rain, the hail, and possible lightning and thunder that's supposed to come in today. We have multiple tow trucks coming. We have flatbeds coming. We even have a bulldozer that's going to come and crush these vehicles. But if we're getting stuck every time we go down this muddy driveway and have to pull it out with winches and tractors and stuff, you can imagine 60-something cars is not going to happen anytime soon. What about the Dodge van back there? Keep that. The Mustang over there? Keep it. The dump truck? Keep. All right. So these are going to stay? Yes. But this one is going to get crushed? Uh, that one will get crushed, yes. You want to see if you can put a big old C on it for crush? Uh, this Hopefully is, the paint will stick on the wet window. This is the big C. Perfect. How's that feel? All right, good. Now, if we can just do that a few dozen more times, we'll all be happy, and so will the county. Immediately, we've run into a problem with all this mud because of all the heavy rain that we've had. Right now, every vehicle is getting stuck in this mud, even the tow truck. That's what I was afraid of. That chain bus. So we're at a standstill. We're going to bring some gravel in and see if that doesn't give us a little bit of traction to get through here. How about this? It stays. Okay, is that really usable? Probably. Are you saving pretty much all these metal things? 
Uh, I'm tending to. My name is Dr. Robin Zazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and I specialize in OCD and compulsive hoarding. Once we did get started, Roy had a difficult time making decisions. Okay, those tapes are not good. Those are all wet. You can't use those tapes, Roy. Those are all wet and, and moldy and mildew inside. Can uh, this go? Yeah, the, the school next door could use it. All right. A broken, what is this? It's an industrial mixer. Okay, no, you cannot good. use this. This is... To him, all of this stuff has an unsurpassable value. You know, everything is amazing and unique and important. This is potentially useful for doing some weird something. Okay, Roy. The gravel just got delivered. This is all we could get today. I don't think it's going to be enough to cover all the areas we needed to. Yes, we're golden. So do me a favor. You point out what they can throw in the truck right now for the, for the landfill. Well, we had only about a half an hour to work with Roy today, but we did find out he's not going to get rid of a lot of stuff easily. I think he can probably do that. Is that food? It's food. So why is there even a, a thought about if we should keep that or not? There's, it's probably still good, but it's not worth the risk. It, you know. Here, put that on the truck. You can do it. Well. There you go, number one. It's the start of a new beginning, Roy. We've lost most of the day today. We've got two days left. We've got a tremendous amount of work to do. Roy has so much stuff on his property, and then we get this weather and all the problems with the trucks getting in and out. You know, this is probably the hardest one that I've been on, and I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. I don't have high expectations at all. So we got out here today, it's pouring rain again. The mud is obviously even worse than it was. Luckily for us, we got access to an excavator. It is making quick work of these vehicles. So now we're trying to motivate Roy to let go of even more so we can get his property cleared. Any of these cars, can any of these ones go, Roy? No. You're gonna keep them on the property? Yeah. Unless we can convince him otherwise. We have had to push and push and push and continue to remind him that he's got a major crisis still in front of him. So let's You're in just... court next week, right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You're in court tomorrow. Yeah, we just discovered that Roy has a court date tomorrow. This is, he has every opportunity to change this right now. Can I please take that Subaru and crush it and uh, toy the minivan with the door missing? Okay. I can't even legally tow it. So can I take both of those cars and get them out of your way? Because that'll open up the road. Okay. I can have them? Yeah. I'll take one last look inside. Today we kind of had a breakthrough with him. You know, he started to make decisions on his own. Family put pressure on him, we put pressure on him. I'm hoping he'll continue this. Hey, Roy, guess what time it is. You're gonna be at the controls of this one. Can you do it? Okay. We just really wanted Roy to get in there, crush one of these vehicles that he's been sitting on for years, and let him get the feeling, you know what, that it's not that bad to get rid of it. Hopefully that motivated him. Hopefully he picked up his spirit a little bit, and we're gonna get rocking on this thing and get him in court tomorrow and have him off his back. Having a sense of control made me feel a little bit better. The fun was more in operating machinery than in doing the crushing. 48 more times and we're golden. <laughs> We're at the end of the day, and we're not even close to what we wanted to accomplish. We used to have a tremendous amount of clutter. I'm concerned that once we leave, this is gonna stay here. And you have a court date tomorrow. Right. 
but at least they can show a lot of progress. Yeah. So in total today, we removed 16 vehicles, two travel trailers, and seven dump trucks, totaling probably 7,000 pounds altogether. It might buy him a little bit of time, but in the long run, he's probably never going to clear all this stuff off the property, and he's going to fight the county until they either take his land away or he dies doing so. I'm not happy about the idea of having to clean up this land myself with my siblings' help if my dad doesn't do it. You still have probably 15 vehicles down here, buses, motorhomes. I have my own reasons for wanting to hang on to things. I feel sad about losing a lot of items, a lot of vehicles. Well, it's the end of the job. You know, just to top things off, the truck just left with all the vehicles on it, and it tips over as soon as it pulls out. So I think they put a little too many cars in it. There's probably one too many. Now we have to call a tow truck out to pick it all up and get them all back in there. You know, this has been the worst job I've been on, and this just topped it. This is the icing on the cake. We've tried everything that we can, and hopefully he will gather some resources together and make it happen. We can, we can only hope. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.